This is where the story ends and I begin to tell it to you. Typically, I'm run by with some simple cases. A man loves a lady. The lady gets around a little too much for the man's liking. And he kills her. That's not the case here, if you will. <laughs> There's definitely more to it than meets the eye. They have a gun. You, my friend, are ladies I'm gonna skip the filler stuff. It's been a few months, and these two have hit it off quite well. You know, I love being out with you at night, underneath the stars. Yeah, it's nice. Um, we have to go, Blake. My dad wanted me home early tonight. What time is it? We left the movie theater at like 9.30. I don't know, but he wanted me home early, like 12. 15 more minutes. I'm sorry, Blake, we have to go. Wait. Bye. Bye. So how could this story have ended up with 1970s Grindhouse Special, you ask? Well, there's a little more to it, I'm afraid. In fact, there's a lot more to it. The catch is, I'm the only one who can tell you everything. He's always on the phone. <sighs> Why isn't she picking up? Dude, it's no big deal, man. Guys night out tonight, all right? Oh, dude, no big deal, man. Dude, you never hang out with us anymore. It's just us for tonight. She never does this. Forget about it, dude. Whatever. Fine. Oh, I'm starving. Let's get something to eat. Yeah, good dude. call. All right. Dude, it's not your girlfriend out there. Wait, where? Right out there. I'm gonna kill that b Ben, Ben, listen man, we're not gonna get caught. I didn't even know. Exactly. You can assume the rest. Well, maybe you can. He kills someone. However, the little known factor interfered with Blake's perfect plans, and it affected him in a huge way. I didn't think this could happen. I didn't even cross my mind. Oh my god, I'm screwed. Yo, man, you're screwed. I had nothing to do with it. You saw me. I'm out of it now, man. It's your problem. So at this point, the media, the guys at the local police department, and I all knew that Tiffany Burbank was dead. She was murdered by suffocation at approximately 1.22 a.m. February 12th. But why? The catch is, the only one who knew who'd done it was me. I intercepted that last phone call between Blake and his friend Ben. It was a local mystery. No one could figure it out. Of course, I knew that it was all because of a very rare but possible mix-up. And Blake, he was caught in the middle of it. There was just one important detail. My phone died. And with all the troubles at home, I just haven't had the best week, you know? Listen, I'm sorry. 
I love you. You killed the wrong twin. <laughs> Let's go eat somewhere. Good call. For sure, bitch. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry. Let's go eat something to eat. That's Good call. Action. Action. <laughs> go. No call. I'm gonna kill that 